Today I want to talk about Tartrazine, Pamela D, Wisdom Wednesday. Do you go to the, ever go to the grocery store and you look at the back of the label and see what's the ingredients and really what you're buying? And recently I've started doing this because I've been doing some research on the long-term effects of what you're eating. And I got a shocker. <laughs> so Tartrazine or sometimes they call it yellow dye number five, was used a long, long, very long time ago to, they put it in the stuff to pave roads with. They needed to get rid of this sludge. And then a British scientist said, well, I could hide it, or we could put it in fabric dyes to dye the fabric yellow. And they did. And then somebody said, why don't we put it in the food supply to make a lesser quality food more appealing? And they did. And in their defense, a long time ago, they didn't know what it was going to do to our immune system or what the long-term effects on our health. And in return, we do have the United States is not only the unhealthiest country in the world, but we have the lowest life expectancy. So they have this tartrazine or yellow dye number five and things we eat all the time like Cheez-Its, Doritos, uh, Welsh's, gummies, um, the energy sports drinks and even my vitamins like when I finally start read that I was like I don't believe this no wonder I have an ache or this or I mean what it does to your body it causes ADHD in children, it causes stomach issues, hormone imbalances. It, it reach, you're putting poison in your body and other countries don't suffer as much as we do. Reason being is if you take Fruit Loops from Canada and match it to us in the United States, it's they're different ingredients. Or the Cheez-Its or your Doritos, uh, cheese curls, the popcorn I was eating the other day. So you need to be cognizant and our government allows this. They do because if they didn't, then why would Canada not put the same ingredients in a different country? So you really need to look at the back of the packaging and think about it. I didn't grow up with people having a peanut allergy. Now every kid on the block has peanut allergies or the level of autism is through the roof. So I truly believe you are what you eat and what you are and what you're eating is going to be, I guess, the life or death of you in some cases. Anyway, Pamela D, Wisdom Wednesday. I'll see you next week.